Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the loop expression in After Effects. So when we get started, we're going to open up After Effects. I'm going to go to Composition, New Composition, and I'm just going to make my 1920 by 1080 and click OK. So now I'm going to go up to Layer, New, Solid, and then I'm going to create a new solid that's blue and comp size and click OK. So once you have that done, I'm just going to grab one of the corner points and I'm just going to drag this in in order to make it a nice blue square. So basically now we have a nice simple shape that we can use to kind of get across some of the um, things that you can actually do with your loop expression. So the way that the loop expression actually works is it takes and repeats over and over um, any keyframes or movement that you have on an object. So in order to actually get um, started using that expression, we need to take and put some movement and keyframes on this object. So with my blue square selected, I'm going to hit P. And I'm going to, with my playhead at the very beginning here, I'm going to take and click the stopwatch in order to put a keyframe. Then I'm going to go out to about 30 seconds here. And I'm going to click this little button right here, this little add or remove keyframe diamond. And that's going to add another keyframe. So now at that 30 second mark, I'm just going to take and move my square while holding shift all the way across the screen. So now we have a simple little animation going from point A to B. Now the way that expressions work, um, I have discussed them in other tutorials, um, is basically you can click you can alt click on the stopwatch of any element um, and then write an expression. So I just alt clicked right there on position and it's going to bring up this um, area right here for me to type. So now what we're going to type is loop with a lowercase l and then we're going to uh, do a capital out. So O and then UT. So it's a lowercase l and a capital O. Okay, so then open close parenthesis, and then inside of the parentheses, um, you can put some different properties. Um, the default is cycle, so you'll be able to see what happens here. Basically, if I just scrub through this, you're going to see that it's actually taking and looping. Um, but we can take and write inside of here. I can put the quotes, so two quotes, and then inside of the quotes, we can put cycle. Now, cycle is the default, so you're not really going to see any difference. So it's still going to do the same thing. But we can take and do um, one other property, which is pretty cool. Um, we can take and replace the word cycle here with ping pong. Okay. Now what ping pong does um, is basically it takes and if you think about a game of ping pong, um, it's going to play your animation through and then it's going to play it in reverse. Okay, so it's going to basically go back and forth here. So if I just play it in real time by hitting spacebar, you can see that now we kind of have a nice ping pong uh, effect going on. So you can smooth that out if you wanted to take and maybe it's off screen, but I'm right clicking and going to keyframe assistant and then going to easy ease. You can kind of get some different effects. You can see now it kind of swings out there almost like it's bouncing from the side. So you can see you can get some pretty cool effects with this loop out. Um, it's not really a super special expression, um, but it definitely is helpful. I know that I've tried to loop things before in After Effects, and you can just take, um, and if you were going to do this yourself um, without having the expression, you just take and copy and paste the frames, then you go to one second and you'd paste them, and over and over, um, which works, but it's time consuming. Um, later on, if you want to change all of these, you have to change them all. Um, here, you just make your initial edits right here in this first 30 seconds and then you just loop it over and over and over um, and so then it would just automatically update. Now if you do want to crop um, your piece basically you just take and I'm holding alt and I'm hitting the right bracket key and so now it'll basically stop after four seconds. So right there you can see that it kind of gets part of the way through a cycle and then just cuts off. So basically you control how many times it loops based on the length of the clip itself. So I thought that this was um, pretty helpful. It definitely helps me when I'm looping um, elements in After Effects. And this ping pong effect can be pretty helpful um, as well. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. hope you guys can apply the loop out um, and just looping function in general in your After Effects projects. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. I do have a new tutorial coming out every week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.